Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Zori Taylor, and in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a first-hand review of the new Fenty Stunning Lip Paint in Unveil. I also wanted to incorporate this fall-inspired makeup look, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I did my foundation off-camera, guys, because the foundation that I am using at the moment is the same one as the other videos. So it was the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation, and then I mixed it with the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. And then now for concealer, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Insta Age Rewind Concealer. I have two different shades. One is caramel and one is tan, but I am starting to feel like they both look entirely the same. I am kind of stuck between if I want to contour today because I'm just like, it's so time consuming, but I'm like, why not just for the sake of this video? So to contour today, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Complete Coverage Concealer, and they do only come in three different like shade sets. So this is the darkest one. This is the set dark. So the first shade I used for my eye was the shade called Burnt Orange out of the Soft Glam Palette, and I put that as my transition shade, and then I followed up with the shade called Sienna and then to just kind of like diffuse everything I use the shade called Rustic and now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the shade called Cypress Umber and it's just like a dark chocolate shade and I'm gonna apply that into my crease now just to kind of build up the darkness on it and then the other two shades I'm gonna go ahead and apply is the shade called Mulberry it's like this really pretty like deep cherry color and I'm just gonna go ahead and use my fingers just to apply this all right guys so I did finish the rest of my makeup off camera I didn't finish um, applying the eyeshadow underneath my eye just to kind of balance everything out I just didn't want to record everything and it's like everything is pretty much repetitive and plus the main reason I wanted to do this video was to review the new Fenty lipstick so that's really why I'm just like trying to jump right into that. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight. Okay guys, so the moment I've been waiting for and probably you too. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint in the shade Unveiled. And this is like the normal packaging that it always comes in, which is like all the other shades that she has. And then... I'm gonna actually show you guys what it looks like. The thing I do like about all her lipsticks is that they always seem really like hefty and like filled. I don't feel like they would easily like break or, or anything. And this is what it looks like outside of the packaging. My fingerprints are like all over this, so please excuse this. So this is what it looks like. But for some reason I did notice when I did get it in the mail, it did look a lot lighter. So I was kind of like hesitant about it. I'm like, oh God. I'm like, hopefully it doesn't look like one of those, you know, brown lipsticks that make your lips look kind of like ashy like something's like a little bit off but actually once i swatched it it looks totally different but i feel like for some people since it does look lighter in the bottle and then appears darker on the skin that may be a con for some people but for me i don't really mind it because i'm like i'd rather the lips be a lot darker than lighter but yeah so this is pretty much what it looks like swatched it has like this really nice like it's not super super dark at the same time but it's not like super ashy it's like right in the middle it's a really nice cool brown i feel like i'm gonna go ahead in and apply this so you guys can see how it looks and i'll also zoom up my camera a little bit more so you guys can get more of like a closer look okay okay so I'm gonna go ahead and open this. I'm like super excited. Like, I feel like I'm a kid on Christmas day. All right guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I actually love how everything turned out. It actually looks so fall inspired. So I really love this look a lot. So I wanted to talk about some of the pros that I do like about this lipstick. That I do love how lightweight it does feel on my lips. It doesn't feel like I have anything on, which is like a huge plus for me because I hate feeling like there's layers of like makeup on my skin. And then I also do like how fast it dries as well because I do know there's a ton of different liquid lipsticks that tend to say they're matte, but they're like half matte and then you see like a little bit of like shine on your lips. So the cons I would definitely say is it doesn't look as true to like a brown liquid lipstick that I was kind of hoping for. But this one I feel like it does look more so cool toned rather than warmer. It looks like it's a mix between like a brown and like a mauve -y. So if you guys did enjoy this video, I do hope you liked it. And if you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for me. And if you haven't became a part of the family, make sure you do before you leave. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.